Batman answers the call of the bat signal, here's your look at the Funko DC Super Heroes 5 star Batman vinyl figure. Big, big thank you to viewer Bill who took the time and sent this my way. DC Super Heroes 5 star Batman comes with his own batarang and a small miniature version of the bat signal. Reckon the first thing we'll do, did you just say reckon? I did say reckon. Reckon the first thing we'll do, my friends, colleagues of the interweb, we're going to figure out how tall DC Superheroes 5 Star Batman is. Did a whole lot of talking there. Let's just get down to the measuring right to the very top of his pointed ears to the top of his pointed cowl. The figure stands 3.3 inches in height, which in centimeters, let's go ahead and do that right now. You're looking at a figure that stands 8.6 centimeters tall, a very small little Cape Crusader. Luckily, to aid Batman in fighting crime, he does come with a batarang, a very, very small silver painted batarang. I think it's actually silver painted, possibly, you know what? Second thought, it actually might be sculpted silver plastic. Anyway, either way, it's a silver batarang that comes included with the figure and it can fit into the figure's hands. Both hands, actually. Just plug that into place like so and equally so. On the other hand, on the other hand, it does fit into this hand as well. It does fit a little bit better in this hand, to be all honest, but it does fit also into this hand as well. We'll look more at the figure, don't worry, we'll get into that. It also comes with a small miniature version of the bat signal. I can't imagine what kind of projection this would project up into the sky, It'd be awfully small, mind you, but a neat little small replica, a stylized replica of what the bat signal would look like. Here it's been painted in a dark gray color with the bat logo featured on the front. What's interesting though is that the bat logo, not that we're going to spend a whole lot of time criticizing things, but the bat logo is actually a different bat logo than the, the bat uh, the Batarang, as well as the Bat logo on the front of Batman. It's close, but it's not quite the same symbol. I guess Bar Batman just has several different calling cards. As long as it looks somewhat like a bat, Batman knows he has to go and answer the call. It doesn't have any posability. You can't hinge this up and down. Hinging it up and down basically will break it, and then you're going to be crying, running upstairs. I don't want you breaking it. Uh, it's on a very, very small base. But, I mean, it serves what purpose it needs to serve. It's a little accompanying piece. It's very minuscule. It's very tiny. Very, very tiny. But it serves what purpose, I suppose, it does for Batman. We'll go ahead and take the Batarang off of Batman here. And uh, looking at the figure here, you can see that he's basically sporting the classic colors of the blue and the gray. But the colors are off a uh, slight off color than what I would normally expect for Batman at least of the classic colors. The grays are a much more darker gray and the blue is actually a little bit more of a, almost a little more of a darker blue as well. I wonder if this version was released. I'm certain this fig figure was also released in a black cowl. The reasoning why I say that is the back of the packaging of the five figures listed, Batman, Harley Quinn, the Joker, Poison Ivy, and Batgirl. Batman seems to have dark colored cowl, almost closer to really being a black cowl, black cape. Well, that's about all you really see in the packaging. You basically just see like this part. It's clearly a dark color. So maybe that there is a variance. I'm sure Funko, if the means were available to them, they would make as much out of this mold as they possibly could. It is in theory possible then that there is various different colors of Batman. Needless to say though, I do like this blue. I must admit, I do really. I'm gravitating more and more in lighter life as I get older on in my years. I seem to like this blue a lot more. I was not really a big blue fan growing up. Kind of really dug black more than anything else, but as you can probably see for the fact that this backdrop and the logo and everything else seems to be a more in my blue period. I guess that was an art period as well. Uh, a nice looking face, very monotoned looking expression on Batman's, well, face area. Speaking of his lower face area, why not? It uh, does seem like it could have probably used another another 
slopping, <laughs> another layering, if you will, of flesh tone. It seems to almost show a little bit of the blue underneath it, kind of gives it that look that it's, it really only passed over, somebody just passed over with the brush a one time. A second time probably would have benefited Batman a little bit better here. I'm not really uh, having any problems with the eyes. The eyes are at least a vibrant white. Uh, I like the fact that the the, the uh, bat logo here is also raised as well. There is some detailing that's done to his very, very small little utility belt. I know this, another small thing that I do like is the fact that they painted the under treads of his feet black instead of just leaving it just all blue. A shortcut could easily have been made just simply making the boot all blue. I'm glad to see that Funko actually, for the very least, at least of his shoes, painted the undersides of his soles, painting them a nice jet black. Uh, the cape is a very solid, dense plastic. You're not going to be moving that anytime soon. I guess you could heat this up if you wanted to, but why would you want to? Uh, so you can't really move the cape too much. Uh, he does have some posability, as to be expected with these. Uh, the head rotates all the way around, and the arms rotate back and forth. That's it. Sort of one of those blink if you miss it sort of pose abilities. Um, the pose ability on this figure again is just relegated really just to head, shoulders, and that's it. Um, I do like the fact that at least they give him an accessory. Maybe if there was, let's just throw it out into the universe. If there was a black cowled version of Batman, I would hope, I would certainly hope at the very least that they would maybe give him another accessory not necessarily just a batarang. But overall, a neat looking figure. I have to admit I'm gravitating, moving maybe a little bit more closer to the idea of actually liking these. And I think the ones that are really probably gonna shine for me are like the Poison Ivy, the Batgirl, the Joker, and even actually Harley Quinn. Maybe Batman is the lower starting point for these, but I have to see that there is potential in this line. At the very least, it's something different than what Funko is normally producing. Five Star is kind of a mixed bag for me. The horror ones kind of just had me... These ones are a little bit more... Okay, I see where they're going with this potential line. And actually, Batman is a decent enough representation if you like a cutie, sort of cuter, stylized version of the Cape Crusader. As sure as the sun sets every day, one guarantee is in place also as well that Funko always continues to produce stuff. Some of their stuff is a little bit more successful than others, but fans seem to continue wanting to buy it. I mean, I'm guilty of it as well. Not all the vinyl figures have been home run hits for me, but I admit I am one that casually picks up ones here and there. And then there's always the expansion lines. For every vinyl pop vinyl figure that Funko has produced, they're also producing things like Dorbs, Mini Mates, and now, of course, the five stars can be added to the treatment as well. These I like. I don't think I like them as much as the vinyl. Oh, here we go. We're talking about the vinyls again. No, vinyls are really where it's at for me. For Funkos, that is. But these ones do have potential. Little on the fence. Lukewarm reception could be easily said for this reviewer when I initially looked at the horror five stars. But I have to admit, this line is, it's warming up. Yeah, I'm warming up, I guess, to the idea of picking up more of these. They're cute, they're stylistic, and at least, at the very least, they're poseable. Which is something that at least the vinyl pop vinyl figures didn't really have. They're usually only poseable to the head. These ones, at least, at the very least, are poseable in the head and the arms. And they give you a couple of accessories. Batman gets a very small bat signal. There's no way that would actually be able to project anything up in the sky. But still, we can take it for at least that he gets something. We're going to, of course, be having a look at more of these. And again, thank you very much to viewer Bill, who took the time and picked these up for me. Again, if you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself, most, if not all of these, can now currently be found in some retail stores. That's awfully a vague way to describe things. I say mostly can be found in retail stores. I'm still perplexed as to how Bill even finds some of these things. I'm having a tough time myself finding them. But I've been told... You should be able to find these at local retail stores. I think comic book stores are also might be your best bet. Might be your best bet. Uh, stay, stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to have a look at some more of these DC superhero five-star figures in future reviews. How about that? Also, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos will be coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.